Welcome back to the channel. It's been about four months since I worked in a lab full-time as a chemist, and it got me kind of thinking about some, and it got me kind of thinking about a few other misconceptions one might have of chemists, and so I made a list like I did for graduate school, and this is what I came up with. Misconception one, all chemists work in laboratories. Not exactly true. A lot of chemists do, it depends on what type of chemistry you're doing, but also a lot of chemists teach where they don't have any lab responsibilities. I know there are chemists in sales and all other aspects of society with various professions. So you could do pretty much whatever you want with chemistry as long as you have a desire to be a chemist or impact the chemistry field. Misconception number two, chemists only mix chemicals. Now this is kind of adjacent to the lab component, but chemists do all sorts of things. I am a chemist and my focus primarily is around data. Even when I was in the lab, my primary focus as a chemist was more so in the measurement side. So we would mix only what was necessary, but primarily we were focused on developing processes that allowed us to understand the composition of a chemical or a mixture of chemicals, rather than focusing on a lot of the mixture components, more so in like chemical synthesis. Misconception number three, chemists can instantly identify any substance. Now, again, like I mentioned before, my graduate education was around understanding chemical composition, using many of the latest and greatest and measurement technology to understand what makes Coke different than Pepsi, for instance. But that is a very time consuming process. The answers don't just jump out on the screen. And even when we can use databases to match the chemical fingerprint to some known standard, there's still a lot of work to verify in those matches. Uh, and so in many cases where forensic shows on TV have helped to popularize chemistry or forensic chemistry, there's still a long step between unknown identification and a sound idea. Misconception number five, chemists are all genius scientists. I don't necessarily want to dispute this, but I, I must. Um, chemists, like everyone else, they have a range of abilities. Chemists are experts in the field of chemistry. They aren't necessarily geniuses. Um, and just like at every specialty, there are folks who have a particularly high acuity in that field and others who really like it put the time in to become a chemist, um, but you know, aren't necessarily geniuses. Misconception number six, chemistry is about memorizing the periodic table. Nah, not really. Depending on your specialty in chemistry, uh, there are some folks who actually specialize in various aspects of the periodic table. For instance, some inorganic chemists might focus on parts of the periodic table. Maybe they do a lot of work with catalysis, so they might look at some of the specialty metals. Whereas for myself, I looked a lot at compounds, including carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, uh, maybe a few others. And so really, it's not necessarily about memorizing the periodic table, although we have to be familiar with it so that we can usually use that information to perform some other task. But memorization, not necessarily. Misconception number seven, chemists always deal with dangerous chemicals. Again, not true. There's chemists who primarily focus on education and teaching. Even when I was in the lab, I seldom worked with dangerous chemicals. Uh, by design, we actually tried to avoid dangerous chemicals. Sometimes we would try to find a mimic that performs like that chemical, but doesn't have the same safety profile. This is just good because sometimes you don't know what you wanna do when you're developing a method, and it's just a good general practice. Even in industry, we try to avoid dangerous chemicals at all costs. Misconception number eight, I hope this is somewhat put away, Chemists could turn any substance into gold. Uh, this was uh, an early stage. Uh, this was like actually maybe even predates some chemists more in the alchemist era, where the idea was that you can convert one metal into a precious metal like gold. It is not true. Come on. Misconception number nine, chemists don't make a difference in everyday life. And here's the thing. A lot of what a chemist does is behind the scenes. You're developing new drugs, testing those drugs, testing drinking water. A lot of things that we do as a chemist are behind the scenes. And so as a society, we reap many of the benefits of chemistry and associated fields without necessarily knowing exactly what the explicit contribution was. When new pharmaceutical drugs are developed, there's usually an organic chemist, a synthetic chemist. When water plants are being tested, there's usually some sort of measurement scientist. And when you're trying to understand um, blood work, there's usually some biochemist, animal chemist in the medical lab testing your blood. And so chemistry is ubiquitous in society and we are vital for everyday life. <laughs> and misconception number 10, chemistry is boring. It's kind of relative, but generally speaking, 
Uh, what you can do with chemistry is pretty exciting. Even if one particular area doesn't excite you, there's a lot of other things you could do with chemistry. Computational chemistry is a big one where instead of going into the lab like a traditional chemist, most of what you do is on the computer trying to simulate what compound might do um, inside of a protein or some other sophisticated biological system. And so you might still believe chemistry is boring, but there is a lot more than what you might have seen in high school or middle school or even undergrad, depending on how deep you get into the field. In any case, did you think I missed anything? Leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Subscribe to the channel. Bye.